how to see the best sellers for any Shopify store. Well, that's really easy. Just keep watching. Hello everyone and welcome to On How channel. My name is Enes, I'm working for you. And as always, start the video. If you have any questions or any video requests, you can find my Instagram right here or just drop me a comment below. I do reply to each comment and also each message on my Instagram. And my Instagram is in the description box, by the way. So today I got a comment from a guy. Well, I think he's a guy, I don't know. But he asked me how he can know the profit or the revenue of Shopify stores. And I did tell him that that's roughly an estimate. Most of the tools online they will only give you an estimate and no one can know the true profit or the revenue for Shopify stores because simply they don't have the access for the data on the analytics on the back end of Shopify store. And also even if they do, they cannot tell you those numbers because simply you can easily sue them or anyone can sue them if you are one of those stores. So if you did act a little bit smarter and you did access the terms of services of those tools, you can easily see that they say it's only an estimate and they can't know the exact number or the revenue for dropshipping stores or Shopify stores because simply it's actually illegal. So they can't do that and they will only give you an estimate and you can take that with a spoon of salt as they say. And that takes us to our video today which is how you can see the best sellers for any Shopify stores and this is not an estimate but it's actually very true and you can see the best sellers for any Shopify stores because it's simply it's built in inside the platform of Shopify and you can't disable it or hide it even you if you do own a Shopify store you can't disable that feature and anyone can see the best sellers of your store the only thing you can do in order to stop that is actually removing the product that's the only way to stop it right now and knowing the best sellers for shopify stores is really helpful because you might discover some competitor and you want to know the best selling products that he's actually selling right now because he's simply a competitor and if you did discover the best sellers for it you can also adopt those products and sell them as well and also there is a lot of tools that will show you the best sellers for shopify stores and they will actually charge money for it and there is plenty not one or two they will charge you money to show you something that's already available for free and it's actually built in in shopify stores you can just add a parameter to the url and it will show you the best sellers but they do actually charge money for it and i'm not gonna name any here i'm just saying make sure to read the terms of services because they do mention that in their terms of services and without any more talking let's show you how simple it is to do so so as you can see right now i'm accessing again google search engine because yes we will do a simple trick the trick that i really do love to find some drop shipping stores to do demonstration on it and by using the trick that i do really like and i do mention in plenty of my videos we will find a specific shopify stores that selling a specific product and we will do demonstration on it to find the best selling for it and the trick is really easy and you will really like it if you discover the power for it because you can play with it to make google search engine to show you anything you want and i will use it in my next video to show you uh, dropshipping products on a tiktok application and we will use actually this trick right now but in completely different way and you will see in my next video so right now as i said we will use this trick to find Shopify stores and we will do demonstration on it to see the best sellers on this particular store so to do that and find Shopify stores that are selling the same product that you are selling as well head over to Google search engine and simply type in in the search bar uh, in text two dots and two quotation marks and between the two quotation marks you will type in powered by Shopify and after that hit space and make sure you don't include space here otherwise it will not work and type in again in text two dots and two quotation marks again and this time between the second two quotation marks you will type in a keyword that's related to your product i'm going to go for a broad niche here because i don't uh, do research for a specific product as, as for the moment so i'm going to type in here gadgets and hit enter and here is as you can see 300,000 results they are shopify store that's related to gadgets and as i said we're only using this trick to find shopify stores that sell in a specific product and we will pick a random store and we will go for it to find the best sellers for it so let's just go for this one here it says gear garden and here it is as you can see this is a shopify store and i think it has plenty of uh, products here let's see shop all here it is as you can see there is a lot here accessories eco smart gardens gadgets plants grow lamps and so on there is a lot of products here so right now we want to know the best sellers 
in this particular product let's just say for example i'm selling stuff that's related to garden and so on and i want to know the best sellers in this particular store so i can know they are actually successful and i will be selling the same product so i will make the same money obviously so to do that simply scroll down the description and you will see this code right here as you can see it says here collection forward slash all uh, question mark sort uh, dash by equals best dash selling just scroll down as i said to the description box and copy it like this and get back to the website this website right here and make sure you do remove anything besides dot com backslash in this case it's a collection just remove it and paste in the parameter here and after that simply hit enter and here is as you can see this is a parameter not in the website but actually in every shopify store because as i said this is a future that's built in in shopify store and you can't stop it and the only way to stop it is simply remove those products so no one can see them obviously as you can see this is the best selling products and also the shopify store owners they did not create this collection of best sellers as i said this is a parameter in shopify stores and i know some people will mistake this for a collection let's just show you actually that this is works on every website not just this one for example let's just go for gamestonegadgets.io i think this is, has to do with australia i think so for example this one right here i don't know if he has many products yes he does so let's just access this one as I said, simply after the dot com or anything like that, type in backslash or forward slash, sorry, and paste in the code that you will copy from the description box and hit enter. And here we go. The products that are best sellers for this particular store, as you can see. Oh, this is really cool. Yeah, this is cool. This will be, will be best sellers for, for, for sure. As you can see, this is the best sellers products for this particular store. And you can do this on any store. For example, I'm going to go zeusgazettes.com just to show you guys that this is actually works for any store, just not just uh, this ones. And here is, as you can see, because as I said, simply this is a parameter inside Shopify platform, and no one can stop it. Not even the Shopify owners to stop it. In order to stop it, the only thing you will need to do is simply remove the best sellers products on your store. So guys, that's how you find the best sellers for any Shopify store easily, as you saw, just by adding a parameter to the URL. And as I said, some tools and some plugins, they do charge money for this. And it's unbelievable, right? So the parameter that we did add to the URL, as I said, you will see it in the description box. Just copy it and add it to the website and make sure to add the forward slash front of dot com or whatever the website's name is. Otherwise, I think my job it is done. I hope you guys get some value from this video. If you did, help me out pressing that like button. I would really appreciate it. And also, if you guys have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop in below or just check out my Instagram in the description box. And thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.